Hi, good morning everybody and welcome to Cooking Uncovered. Here we are in North Vancouver and my little niece Sophia is joining me again and I, I know you remember Sophia because she was the star on that wonton soup recipe that we did a few months ago. Do you remember that Sophia? Yes. Did a lot of your friends watch that video? Yes. Did they? Well, at school I insisted that my students watch that video and then afterwards we made a big vat of that soup. We made 400 wontons from that video. Yes, we did, and it was wonderful. So Sophia's back, and today we're getting ready because we're going to have a uh, dinner party tonight and we're making some hummus. And today this hummus is going to be a little bit different. We're going to use the red grapes and sun-dried tomatoes with our hummus. So, should we get started? Yes. All right, so here's Sophia, here's our chickpeas. You can put all the chickpeas in here from the basket. So I'm just using a can of chickpeas. Uh, 540 mLs, and we've rinsed them very well under cold water. Perfect. Now, what we need, Sophia, is two tablespoons of um, tahini. Now, do you know what tahini is? Tahini is crushed sesame, and it's made of paste, so you can put those in here. Very good. And don't worry if you drip, because it's first thing in the morning, and we're in our house coats, and if there's a little bit of a mess, Daddy and Carl will clean up, right? Okay, so it's tahini. To that, I'm going to add uh, one-third of a cup of olive oil. There we go. Two tablespoons of tahini. Was that two? Was that only one? We've got the peanut gallery behind the camera telling, reminding us to keep our measurements correct. So that's one-third of a cup of olive oil. And then we're going to add, just for a little spice and a little bit of zip and zap, we're going to add also one third of a cup of red onion. So you want to put those in? Perfect, perfect. Okay, now we're going to put a whole bunch of stuff in this. To this, we're also going to add some, some um, this is sun-dried tomatoes, um, Sophia, sure. with herbs. Okay. So why don't you add a third of a cup into this of that? So now here's a spoon, this? yeah, here's a spoon, and you spoon it up, because see, we've used this already in something else, so we can't put that into the food, otherwise it would contaminate it. So one-third of a cup of sun-dried tomatoes, and we're going to use the zest of one lemon. So we're going to zest. Now, Sophia, did you know that when you zest, you only take the yellow part? Once you get to the white part, you stop, don't you? Mm -hmm. And you just work your way around the lemon, and do you know why you zest a lemon first? Well, it would be like having an egg without the yolk or bacon without the fat. The, the zest part of the lemon is the best part of the lemon as far as the aromatics go. It really gives you a good flavor. So I'm going to zest oops, almost all this lemon. It really gives a nice flavor. And then I'm going to use the juice of this lemon too. And I'm going to get ask your Uncle Carl get me my wood hand juicer because I can't do it just by squeezing anymore because it hurts my hand. So we're going to put this um, on here, Sophia, and with the, the hand, the, you know, that wooden thing. Look at my burn on my finger. Thank you, Carl. So we're going to squeeze this. Do you know how to do this? We stick this into the middle. Do you want to do that? Sure. And we've got, the, we've got that on there. So see the seeds? When you do this with your uh, lemon squeezer, the seeds drop right into your colander, so it makes it a little easier. Do you want to do that? Hmm? Oh, that's okay. All right, so uh, Sophia is going to do the lemon, and now we're going to add some fresh thyme. So I have some of this beautiful fresh thyme, which, is, which looks like this, and um, we're going to add some of that because it's going to be so delicious. There you go. Very good. Perfect. Okay, second one. There you go. Thank you. I don't know how it is we always end up making a mess when we do this, but it doesn't matter. Now today, today, uh, two of the ladies that are joining us tonight are vegetarian, so we are not going to use chicken broth, and I don't have a vegetarian broth, so we're just going to use water, and uh, hence why I'm using the thyme and a little bit maybe some more salt and pepper, just to up the flavor so it's not too bland. There you go. That's perfect. Very good. All right. Let's pull that away. Great. So here we've got, what have we got here, Sophia? We've got chickpeas, mm -hmm. and what are those? Onions, onions 
lemon, and you put you put the tahini, yeah. and now we have sun-dried tomatoes, right? Yeah. So is that it? Mm -hmm. And now we need salt and pepper. Where did I put the salt and pepper? There it is. So it's salt and pepper to taste, right? But the, the creme de la creme of this recipe is what? Grapes. That's right. We almost forgot the grapes. Thanks to Uncle Carl for reminding us. So here we have our one cup of washed grapes. So you can put those in. And this is how easy hummus is, folks. You seriously put everything into a, a food proce processor and blend it to, to the, um, you blend it to the consistency you want it. You keep adding fluid, which whether it be stock or water, until you get to the consistency that you want. Some people like their hummus really, really, really um, thin, and other people like it really thick, so it kind of depends, right? So a little bit of fresh thyme. I'm going to do just a little bit more. And you, to get the thyme off, you just bring it down the stem like that. Okay, fresh thyme, great. Now we're going to blend that up. Here's our lid. Now to that, to that, I would normally add the vegetable stock, but as I said, I don't have vegetable stock today, so we're going to use a little bit of water. So that's about a, um, so, um, normally we would add garlic to hummus. But I don't think we're going to add it today because we're adding the grapes. So we're just going to, we want to mix it. So see how see how nicely it's becoming. See how it's now at that stage. You can decide. Okay, is it too thick or is it too thin? And you can decide. You want to taste it? No. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, that tastes pretty good with the grapes. Okay, I think it needs a little bit more pepper. I think it needs a bit more salt. And then I think we have one that's ready to go. There we go. So we're going to move all this back. And then we'll put the... There we go. So that's our hummus for today. And this is going to go out on the table. We're going to make a vegetable tray. And we're going to have um, slices of baguette and some chips because before we made some salsa, didn't we? So, thank you for joining us on Cooking Uncovered. And here we have our grape sun-dried tomato thyme hummus for our party this afternoon. So it's going to be fun, isn't it, Sophia? Yes. It is. So thank you for joining us. And for Sophia, Catherine from Victoria, we're signing out. So I just want to show you this. So this is what the hummus looks like. And it's going to be very, that's a good consistency. It's a little bit, of, little bit of grape chunks in it, which is perfect. So thanks for joining us. So should we go? You wanna say goodbye? Bye. Thanks, bye.